Everybody ready? Yep. So tonight, uh, it was a good victory for us considering it's our first game of the season. Um, but I am a tough grader. And if I had to give us a grade, I would probably give us a solid C+. And I'm giving us a C plus because I'm expecting more consistency uh, on both ends of the floor from us. And I know Kay would probably agree in that grade because she understands the uh, level of talent that we have on our team. And she understands the heights that we can go when we play with the consistency that I'm looking for. Um, I think that there were individuals that had stellar performances, um, especially this young lady sitting next to me. Some of the things that she does, it will never show up in a stats, on a stat sheet. And you can appreciate a player like her because she can create offense for us just through her defensive efforts alone. Then when you look at the way that she plays on the offensive end, she has a, an aggressive, explosive way of attacking but she has the court vision of a point guard, and she's able to find her teammates, whether it's for open threes or bigs diving to the rim or little dump down shuffle passes to them under the basket. So um, we have Auburn coming up, and I think this tape will serve us well as we break down everything uh, from top to bottom, player to player, defense to offense, um, as we prepare for Auburn. We have a grand opportunity in front of us. They're a new team with a new coach, and I think that it would be the clash of two juggernauts who are hungry for their win, you know, hungry for wins within this season. So I'm looking forward to how practice will be. It's going to be performed at a high level. There's no time for rest. We have work to do. Your depth tonight. I mean, last year you had three players average 32 or more minutes mm -hmm. per game. No mm -hmm. one. No one played 30 tonight. Is mm -hmm. that going to be what we see? You, know, you played all 14 players. Yeah. Well, I, whenever the opportunity presents itself to play everyone, then I will. But I'm the type of coach I never predict who's going to do what for how long. I always look at time, score, and situation. And then I make my substitutions based off of that. And now that means um, Kay might be on the floor for 32 minutes that night because she just has it going on in the ways that we need for her to take advantage of. Or it could be a night where she may only play 15 minutes, but whatever's required, I need for all players to be able to give what is necessary. First time seeing Iggy play significant minutes. Um, she's pretty talented. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. She is someone who I am petitioning for to have an opportunity to be in the draft for the WNBA. She has that type of talent. She is a WNBA prototype. So with the way that she can score on all levels and then with the intensity she plays with on the defensive end, I think this young lady deserves a shot. So we're going to try to showcase her um, ma while making sure that whatever she's doing is helping the program. And now the program can help put her um, in a position to be able to be noticed and recognized for her talents enough to be drafted. You didn't have a large crowd tonight, mm -hmm. but it was, it was you know, relatively loud. Um, mm -hmm. you, and I know you were, you were always hoping for more, but how did you feel about that? Yes, well, I'm, I'm um, very grateful for the faithful few that were here. But I'm also going to make sure that I push the gamut every single time to encourage people to come out and see a good brand of basketball. Even though I am a tough grader for my team, I think that they will come and they will enjoy what they're seeing. And this is a problem that you see a lot of the times. I experienced it in the WNBA. People would be like, WNBA, what's that? And then I say, hey, I'm going to leave you two tickets. Just come and see. And then when they come, they fall in love. And they're like, oh my gosh, like, how long has this league been around? You guys, I like this better than the NBA, you know, because we play in a very organic way. It's not about brute force and extreme athleticism. It's about seeing a play from start to finish, watching it develop, and now you see the works of your labor at the end, where it's a team aspect that we play with. It's not just a pound it in, the guy jump over the guy, and you get a dunk every so often. You know, I think both styles of play between the men and women need to be celebrated. No, no one should expect us to look like the men, and they shouldn't expect the men to look like the women. Respect everybody for the abilities that they have, and I want this place to be filled, because we need it rocking. When, when, when Auburn comes to town, we need this place rocking. Hey, how did you feel first game? Um, 
amazing. Like mm -hmm. playing on this level was a, definitely an opportunity with Coach D. Just giving me the opportunity to play with girls from all over. We got Iggy here, my girl. <laughs> Transfer. She didn't play on the level. She helped me out in practice, you know, outside of practice. Even the girls that's been here, Snoop, um, Boogie, Weezy, and Amari, they really helped me because they all played on a higher level. And I'm just getting here and just to start off, to come here and to start as a five. And thanks, Coach D, <laughs> for believing in me. And it's just been an honor. I mean, my first game, how much I scored, assists, the steals, as long as I'm on the floor playing with my team, giving them my all, that's all I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. Iggy, how do, you, how do you feel about your first game and your new teammates, relatively new teammates? And I feel great, and I'm glad that I don't got to play against them this year. That's, what, <laughs> that's, what I, that's how I'm feeling. But the energy was great. The, um, it was electric in the building. You know, our fans, our supporters came through, and they were really, you know, rooting for us. And even in the tough times, you know, when they went on their runs and we went on ours, um, I just never felt the energy shift. It was a, it was a great first game. Hi, Noah. <laughs> I had two questions for you. Okay. So my first one was, in the third quarter, you guys were pretty stagnant, but the intensity picked up soon after. What did you tell the team that got them going, earning you this 28-point win? Well, there's some things I probably can't say <laughs> that I say, um, but for the most part, I just challenged them. I challenged them to clean things up, and let's get back to playing our brand of basketball. We weren't setting screens. We weren't boxing out. We were just relying on our athletic abilities. Well, we have to start being disciplined in terms of, of how we play. The athletics, athleticism and the skill sets that we have as individuals, if we can attach technique to that, then we'll be stellar. So I challenge them to go out and if you're going to win, it's one thing to win, but then it's another thing to win the right way. And I wanted us to win the right way. And I'm glad that they listened to me and trust me. And then my second question, Coach, your entire starting lineup scored in double figures. How do you manage all of that talent? Well, I, my philosophy is simple. Let the ball find the open player. So we run the system. We have the spacing that we need. Spacing is our best friend. Now it allows for tremendous athletes as these two sitting right to my right. They can go and create and do what they do. Now, when it's their job to make good decisions, and I trust them and their teammates trust them to do so, and it all works out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I had a question for Kay and Iggy. Okay. I kind of already touched on it, but I was just going to ask you anyway. So, Iggy, <laughs> In your first official regular season game as an ODU Monarch, you showed up and showed out, scoring 15 points with seven rebounds and three steals. Mm -hmm. How did it feel doing that as an ODU Monarch in front of a crowd full of fans? Well, none of it would be possible without my teammates. Um, the great coaching strategy that Coach put together and um, the assistant coaches as well. So overall, uh, it was just them and I just executed. <laughs> and then Kay. It was also your first official game as an ODU Monarch, and you were hot as well, doing it on both ends of the court, scoring 11 points, in which you shot 50% from the field and got four steals. How did it feel to put on a great performance in front of Monarch Nation for the first time? Um, felt great, honestly, just being on the floor, my teammates, um, the coaches giving me all the positive energy, my teammates on the bench, and even um, myself having the most confidence in just playing, giving them all. <laughs> this team has a lot of potential, doesn't it? Definitely. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't like to use the word <laughs> potential. We are above that. We are shooting for another galaxy. Mm -hmm. Hence the C plus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can do better than we did tonight. That's right. That's Sunday. Definitely, definitely Sunday. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, you know, in all, if we're speaking in all honesty, this is their first time, you know, as a complete team, you know, playing together against, you know, some pretty good talent. I understand exhibition games are exhibition games, but then when you get into the season and it's for all the marbles, then that brings a different level of tension, anxiety, um, and it even can leave question marks attached to your chemistry and your cohesiveness. So we saw what we needed to saw. They experienced what they needed to experience. Now it's about us taking that, gathering up all the good, and now let's try to enhance that. 
and whatever is bad, let's try to fix that. So I think that tonight was a great stepping stone for us, but I'm going to keep the fire lit because I do understand the galaxies that we're trying to reach, and we'll never get there if we just have a mediocre mindset in terms of us celebrating, oh, the fact that we're talented. It means nothing if you don't put action to it. Let's go!